So how did I become a chef? Uh, by accident, really. Uh, I started off doing university degree in typography and uh, photography, and then I was doing an internship after and to pay for it. I was working in the kitchen most nights of the week, all weekends, and I just loved it. So um, I was very lucky. I fell in with the right crowd of people and uh, who were willing to teach me, and uh, went from there, really. I had a love and a passion for it. And um, worked with some you know, great chefs at an early age. Met uh, Franco Terusio and then also met uh, Sean Hill of the Walnut Tree, learning from him. And then it pushed me to come down to London and uh, interest to take it further. And then I started working with Anthony at Arbutus and Wild Honey, and I was there for a long time. That's pretty much where I honed my skills for about uh, six, seven years. And eventually I became the head chef of Arbutus. And then I met Chris. So, what I'm going to cook is a uh, leek vinaigrette with um, a soft penzo and a few pea shoots. It's seasonal, it's this time of year, and it's about fresh flavour and it's all about cooking like alumanu, not for, you can't cook it in 24 hours pre and then try and serve it. It's one of the dishes that has to be prepared for every single service, and it's all about the freshness of the dish. I think it's probably most, you know, and this is a prefix dish as well, you know, it's not for a la carte. It's uh, all done on our cheap venue but it's not any less cheap than the quality that we use. So influence of Galvin since I've arrived I would say I think probably we buy better ingredients than we ever have done before because not because they weren't doing it before but because I think it's so much more important for a customer things have changed in the last few years and we have to buy more keenly and more seasonally and give the customer the best quality produce they can because now you can buy it on your own high street buying wisely more seasonal and uh, you know being honest to the food as well and not over preparing anything you know we, we always try and add technique behind the scenes that the customer doesn't see but on the plate they're getting value for money quality produce and full of flavor and in the right time of the year as well so next dish is going to be a little smoked tartar of uh, salmon with apple and yoghurt mousse over the top which is fresh as well, unpasteurised yoghurt. Uh, the future for myself uh, is probably to, I think it's very very important to learn about business as a cook. You know before you want to, so many cooks can't make it work because they don't know the business side of things. And uh, one of the things here is that Chris Galvin lends a lot of his time to teach me about the business. And uh, very happy working with Chris. And uh, I would love to, you know, get more inside of that side of things, you know, before I even try to open my own thing. I think eventually we all want to open our own thing, but it has to be business sense. You know, I don't want to open it and not make any money. You know, <laughs> I need to make a living as well. So, yeah, I think. Uh, more business and uh, you know in five years time I'd love to say I've got my own restaurant maybe two restaurants what we do is we make the yogurt and the apple we make a we'll freshly juice some apples mix them with the yogurt in a recipe that we have and then we'll add a sheet of gelatine to set it and then what we do is we blitz it all together pass it through fine chinois check the seasoning and then what we do is we set it in a gas gun an ISI gun and we'll charge it with a canister as well And that's it, and that's our smoked salmon tartare with yoghurt and apple mousse. 